Hello, pumpkins! So I'm sitting here at the university on this windowsill having a nice view for a company. This is a university library, so it's nice. And I'm just bored, you know, having four hours of break. That's why I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee. Oh, by the way, do you know how I make my coffee at the university? Because I don't think you do. So I buy two espressos and I buy the vanilla soy milk, then pour the vanilla soy milk into the espressos. And that's how I do it, in case you were interested in that, which I know you weren't. But never mind. Anyways, I think we should have a moment to appreciate this. This is the shopping that my parents have done for me yesterday. It's all vegan, gluten-free. Oh my god. I have not, you know, recorded it on a vlog, but it is in here. A picture. And by the way, this phone, right? Like, what is this phone? This is not my phone, right? It isn't. It isn't. It is not my phone. You're right. It's my sister's phone. Why do I have my sister's phone, you may ask? Well, because as much as my phone is fucking up because it has like an entire screen broken and like cracked and all. It also has this earphone in part or anything, don't know its name. It is also destroyed and it's not working. I can't listen to music on my phone. So I just got my sister's old phone and I'm using it right now. Not quite comfortable, but man gotta do what man gotta do. And by the way, I am wearing my Christmas jumper and when you press his nose, he sings jingle bells and I laid against the desk during the lesson and he started singing. Oh my god, such a massacre, macabre and all. Like, it only happens to me, you know? And by the way, I just never thought I'll be one of these persons, you know, who long for weekend and are looking forward to weekend so much. Like, it was always pretty without any difference for me, whether it's a weekday or a weekend and now... I am none of like this. Every day from Monday to Friday I wait for weekend, including the evening of Friday because that is where I have theatre rehearsals and theatre rehearsals are so important. Like I love these people. Oh, hello to all the theatre and choir people. I love all of you and you just make my week every single week because I have choir on Saturdays and theatre on Fridays and I just wait for it. This is basically my life, waiting for theatre and waiting for choir rehearsals because I love you people. I love you so much. Really, I do. And in this point, I just wanted to thank to all of you for being so lenient and forgiving with me and, you know, so sensible and, and just lovely because I am a very shy person. I used to be a very, very, very shy person. Like half a year ago, I was unable to come up to a stranger and like ask for something and say something like my hands were trembling because I was so scared to talk to another person and I don't have it right now. I was never much of a sociable person, I was always an outsider and a shy, a very shy, scared of people person and I am not right now and this is a great step, a great thing for me because I always loved the company of lovely people, like of people who like like to be around each other and like to have a good talk and that is so important and I can be a part of it right now I can talk to these people and be with them and feel good in their company just like they are feeling good in each other's company and this is big. So I just want to send a huge thank you to all of you who encouraged me, you know, and who are just waiting patiently for me and who are always like helping me to talk to people, were always saying hi or were the first ones to come and approach me and to meet me when I was not able to do that myself. Just. Thank you to all the people who give me hugs, who talk to me, who are so lovely to me and who are still encouraging me and who still see that I do have problems with, you know, communicating with people and being with people. Like, they see it and they're trying to help me. That is why I keep calling everybody my friends because when I have a person who cares for me and who helps me and I can just feel the love coming out of them and, and growing and they're giving it to me, I just, I just feel it and I feel encouraged and I feel empowered and I feel like I can do it because I have these people around me helping me and trying to give me their energy of being with people and I can't help but call them friends. 
because I once was a really shy person, really like, you know, afraid of being with people, afraid to share who I really am and afraid to be me and afraid to be awkward and weird because I am weird and I just had to accept that, you know, to myself. When you accept to yourself the real you that you are, then you're not afraid to show it and then you start loving yourself and when you start loving yourself you are able to love other people and to let other people love you that is so important i think because people are not able to give you love when you don't give love to yourself and once i was really afraid of people really afraid to approach them really afraid to ask them of anything and even to state my opinions like i was like they will judge me for it and what then like you know i was not able to be myself and then i met one person and that person was so happy and i was so amazed by how yourself you can be and i just thought i want to be that too and i feel like that person gave me this energy gave me this power to think that i have an entire right to be who i am and to show that and to be with person with people who accept this and who accept me for me and so i have and i am still learning and i am still you know in the process of doing it and not at the end of the journey and i'm not an entirely self-confident person yet but that is where i'm going that is what i want for me I am a hundred percent more self-confident person than I was half a year ago. Like half a year ago, I was scared, panically scared of people. Half a year ago, I was shy. I was never speaking my mind. I was always hiding who I really am and was afraid to share me, the real me. Half a year ago, I was so not self-confident about how I look, about how I think, about how I talk, about how I am. And now I just know that if there's someone who doesn't like it, then I should not bother to try so hard and make that person like me. Like, it's not worth it. If they don't like you for who you are, then you just have to proceed and find the people who will like you for who you are. And so I've done it and I met so many incredible people and I love them so much, love you so much. And that is what I am trying to do, to collect the positive, good people who will help me be me. So now I'm 100% more myself. I learned to laugh of the stupid things I do instead of getting embarrassed about them. I learned to talk to people. I learned to come up to people and spend time with them and love with them with who I am and without pretending who I am not. And that is a great thing. It is also a one great trial of not wearing makeup to accept yourself. It is great. I am not wearing makeup. Like at first I planned not to wear makeup and it was said like don't wear makeup for like a month, Jennifer. And after a week I was like, no, I look so shit without makeup that I want to wear makeup. And then I started wearing makeup and I was like, no, that is so uncomfortable. I so don't like it. I so don't look good in it. And I took off that makeup and since then I feel good without it. I feel like, no, makeup isn't that thing, actually. Like, you should love yourself for how you look. And sometimes you may look worse, and that's okay, because it's you. And I'm not sure whether that makeup thing was on the topic, but it kind of is. It's still self-confidence, self-love. Self-love is the key to being loved by people. Self-love is a key to confidence, to be with people. Because just like I said, if you will not love yourself, you will never find love from people. And even if you will, then you will not be able to receive it. Because you're not able to be with people, like actually be with people, being yourself. And then they are not able to love you for who you are. Because they don't know who you are, because you are not yourself. So unless you love yourself and who you are and you're comfortable with it, you are not able to love people and be loved by them it's as simple as that so i just wanted to say thank you thank you to all the people that were encouraging me all this time who were so patient with me who were like sharing themselves with me so that i was able to take it and put it into my heart and start loving myself start loving them and start being the one i am right now and i've made such a progress and i love you all so much
and about the progress, you know, I am studying French at the university right now and it's not going so well actually because I am just none of the studying type, you know, I was never studying in my entire life and I just don't know how to really do it right now. Plus I am such an unorganized person and I have quite like problems understanding when people say simple things to me, like I don't quite get what is that they're saying. So I have a hard time understanding everything like the basics of every language are like the most difficult to learn so i have some problems and therefore i needed like to encourage my own self and like make myself think but you have done something else it's not like maybe maybe you are failing right now but that doesn't mean you're worthless because you've done so many things except for this french you know like it's not determining your life that you can't do french if you have done so many other things and I just tried, you know, looking at my life from the perspective of how I was and how I am and that my main goal, like, for life was to be able to write in English because I am not a native speaker of English and that was my main thing because I always wanted to be a writer and I loved English and I was like, I want to write but in English and that was my thing, like, I was so afraid I'll never be able to write in English and that was what, like year, half year ago, that I was thinking I will not be able to do that until I started writing a diary and you know this is my seventh diary since 12th of May 2016 and you know I'm writing in English and I'm doing it and I have no problems with it like I can manage all the tenses and all the vocabulary and grammar and everything and I am doing it like it just kind of happened it's not like i planned to start writing diaries i just i just have and it was natural for me to start writing them in english because that's what i do i do everything in english and um it just happened and i haven't realized recently that hey i made it i just kind of made it you know and that is a great accomplishment so i just try prizing myself on the things that i did and I quite haven't appreciated them earlier because I was like, yeah, whatever. And English, my English is good, like, why don't I appreciate it? Because I always dreamed about being fluent in English and I kind of am right now. Like, I do make mistakes because, because I do, but it is an accomplishment and I have to appreciate that and I have to stop sometimes and say, great job, Jennifer, great job, you've done a great job, you went through so long, such long journey, you know, to get here and you are here right now and it's great and even if you're failing in something else, never forget that you have made your dream come true, your dream of being fluent in English, your dream of writing in English, your dream of being sociable with people, of finding the people you love, a dream of having something to look forward. It were these were all my dreams and the reality right now and that is great and I just have to remember about that I cannot forget it I cannot let myself fall into the despair of how I am not able to manage things at the university it happens but I have made I have done I have so many other great things and I have people for the first time in my life you know I have people and that is more than ever anything was, you know, for me. So I just think it's important to remember about that and that I have to remember about that and I have to remind myself about that, that I have done well, after all, eventually, you know, and I'm happy with what I have, with who I am, with who I have. So I am just trying to cherish it right now and, and I feel that that is great, that is pretty great. And so we kind of fell into a very talky video, but never mind, you know, video, vlog, vlog, it's a vlog video. Like, do I ever say video? I don't think I do. Therefore, I encourage you to thumbs this video up. If I say video, you like it and stalk me by clicking the subscribe button. Adios, adios, and share love. Mm-hmm. My hair looking long. That is so cool.